My name is Isil Khan. Previously on quantity survey, we have already learned the earthwork calculation for roads in hilly area when the earthwork is pulley and cutting. But in this video, we'll just learn the earthwork calculation for roads in hilly area when the earthwork is pulley and pelling. That's the main difference, right? In that video, the earthwork was only in cutting and over here, the earthwork is only in pelling or you can say pulley and pelling, right? And to understand the problem better, I'll just do an example as we always do. Because an example is a nice way to understand a problem better. And let's say this is example first. Using the given cross section of the road and hilly area, calculate the quantity of earthwork in banking per the length of 100 feet. The section is just little bit over here. This line represents the cross slope or the slope of the hill. And let's say this line represents the permission line, just uh, the permission that you can say also, no problem. And let's say this is the side slope. Let me just assume if the permission width of the road or the breadth of the road is 32 feet, so its half must be 16 feet. And let's assume if the mean depth for the filling is known, that's 1.85 feet and let's say the side slope is 2 and 1 and also let's just assume if the cross slope is 10 and 1 that's just the slope of natural ground level or you can say the slope of nsl all right so this data is just enough to determine the quantity of earthwork and banking per the length of 100 feet road the only one cross section is given over here so we'll just only calculate the cross section area that's in paying and then we'll multiply the cross section area with the length of the road so we can get of course the total total filling of this section right that's so simple and however just remember one thing if there are two or more than two cross sections given so we'll calculate the section area of each section separately and then we'll calculate of course the mean area per each two sections right so that will be just considered as the cross section area and then we'll multiply that cross section area with the length of the road so we can get of course the earthwork right that's just the simple calculation and if you want the video in detail uh, i mean per the mean area method i have already uploaded a video right you can check that the link is down below in the description so here i'll just come directly into solution and in the solution remember the volume of earthwork must be the sectional area and filling times the length of the road and for the cross sectional area when the section is fully in filling we can of course use these two formulas these formulas are of course uh, so accurate i have taken the screenshot from a book just for the reference right if you remember the second formula is already used in the previous video so i'll use the first one formula and also the first one formula does have two section were there we'll use only one or we'll use the both parts of this formula that's a question right so we should confirm which one uh, part should be taken i mean the pull formula should be taken or the one part of the formula should be taken so that's also the question and we have to answer that just now and to answer this question we have to calculate rd rd is just the distance uh, from the half breadth or from the center of the formation weight to the cross slope just like in this pump uh, in the plan you can see of course right so rd equals r is known that's 10 and 1 so 10 times depth depth is known over here 1.85 feet when you multiply these two i mean 10 times 1.85 will get of course 18.5 feet is rd so if you see of course this is just greater than the hop permission width of the road which is 16 feet over here so this section is pulley and filling that's of course just proved over here and extra filling will be subtracted which means we'll just use this pus formula over here which i just uh, showed you a few minutes ago in this picture you can see of course over here now the pus formula right all right so now let me come directly into my presentation over here again just wait a minute all right this one area and filling this formula this is just the same formula i showed you a few seconds ago in that picture we just need to plug in chug in over here like area and filling a represents the area and filling which is equal to b b is known video right over here that's the half permission weight over here which is 16 feet plus rd r is known which is 10 and 1 or you can say we can take of course 10 only so 10 times d is also known 1.85 
so 10 times 1.85 and of course whole square there divided by 2 times r r is again known which is 10 minus is that's the side slope which is 2 and 1 so minus 2 and for the part 2 there is minus of course which is uh, r times d again r is known 10 and d is known 1.85 so 10 times 1.85 minus b that's 16 feet and whole square of course and again divided by 2 times r is known 10 plus s that's the side slope of course which is 2 and 1 so plus 2 by doing some maths we can get of course area and pinning equals 74.13 sft r square field now let me come directly into pillings or you can say volume of earthwork which is pulley and pilling and that's area and pilling times length of the road. So area and pilling that's known we did this a few seconds ago which is 74.13 SFT times the length of road is known which is 100 and by multiplying these two which is 74.13 times 100 that's of course 7413 CFT and that's it. So this is how we can determine the volume of earthwork and heli area when it's pulley and pilling. And finally, if you have little time, make sure you thumbs up and hit the subscribe button over there. That's the red button. And that's it. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.